What's up, guys? Uh, let me turn this volume down. Uh, what should we run here? So I just played a match with Overwatch, and uh, just wanted to talk about my aim. Like, it's so weird. Some days I'll have it, some days I won't. But uh, this cool thing that I found out, I was watching a pro stream uh, Overwatch, and he said, if your aim was good on a certain sensitivity one time, then that means the sensitivity isn't the problem. And uh, I just wanted to talk about like inconsistency, inconsistency and aim and your sensitivity. Like, I'm the kind of guy who would change their sensitivity if I'm not having a good day of aiming, which that's probably not the best thing to do. So uh, yeah, today I just hopped on and uh, did really well in Overwatch, or at least my aim was comfortable. And I did pretty well in Counter-Strike too. So, uh, I'm not sure what it is. Like, how do you stay consistent and do well on a sensitivity you have done well on? So that's one of my problems. Like, if my aim was as good as it should be, or has been, I would win probably like 30%. I would have won 30% more of my matches if my aim was where it should have been, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, I did like, I did exercises. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get these kills here. I need to get a kill feed real quick. Is someone behind me? No. But yeah, so I did exercises like Dr. Levi Harrison, that guy on YouTube who does hand exercise videos on what you can do to, you know, help your hand like get relaxed. And uh, I don't know if it worked, and I did a, like, that that exerciser for your hands where you squeeze it and you hold it, or you could do reps and squeeze it really fast as long as you can. It's like a hand grip exerciser. And it's like two, it's like a V, and you just pull them together. So I did that, and I did it for four minutes on both hands. And then I did this trigger finger training exercise that they do in paintball, where you tie a rubber band, you cross it over on your fingers, on your index and your... Uh, index in your middle finger and then uh, you go back and forth with it like you're pulling a trigger and I'm super tired right now like I don't have enough sleep and I usually think like sleep is a problem where if I don't get enough sleep my aim is gonna be really bad because like I think it's all in your head kind of how good your aim is I don't know I probably shouldn't have said that oh he's so lit Got him. Yeah, it's just weird. I don't know what it is, but one thing for sure, if you've done it, if you've done well on a certain sensitivity, you can go to that, back to that performance. Uh, again, like you'll have the same performance on that sensitivity, even though you're not feeling it one day, you can still, like, you shouldn't change it, thinking, oh, the sensitivity is bad for me now. When you did well, you're somehow winning. I hate click to zoom, but I need it. I, I hit that guy. So hit that guy. At least it felt like it. But yeah, I'm starting to think like the feeling of the sensitivity can change. Where some days it might feel really fast, some days it might feel really slow. And but the distance does not change. So I think that's what you're looking for when you choose a sensitivity. Kind of like what your what, whoops, what part of the part of your hand you want to move the mouse with? Well, I like moving. I use the fingertip grip, so I use my fingers and my wrist and my arm. So it's three points of contact or three three ways of moving my mouse. So I go like middle sensitivity, not too fast, not too slow. Where did the guy go middle? Whatever. That was fast. <laughs> I forgot how fast these games were. They're playing too much Overwatch and Counter Strike. But yeah, so I guess the moral of the story is if you did well on a sensitivity, uh, you it's not sensitivity that's the problem. It's like how you're feeling. How does your hand feel? 
you know my hands feel pretty good right now like I, th I think those exercises that I did earlier today the strength exercise the grip grip strength exerciser and then I did the finger with the rubber band uh, technique to strengthen your trigger finger trigger finger and yeah so that's what I did If you guys are wondering about your sensitivity, just let me know if, you know, try out my position on it, position, position on it. Sorry, I'm so tired, guys. See if uh, my theory helped you try it out. And like, even if you're doing bad on a sensitivity, you know, you've done well on. See if it works out for you. If you just stick with it and then like, you know, exercise your hands. Because, you know, pianists, they have to exercise their hands. And it's, it's not too much different from like using... A keyboard and a mouse it's not too much different and your people have the same hand problems if they do the piano too much yeah I gotta end the video I'll see you guys later I'll, I'll probably do another video real quick yeah thank you guys for watching